Hey y'all, Chuck here with No Time To Be Sad. Hey, it's time for another Friday's episode of How To In Thailand. Today's episode is about how to drink beer and drink beer responsibly in Thailand. There are four major beers that are usually sold in Thailand. One being Heineken, second being Chang, then Leo, and Singha. Heineken, they just call it Heineken. Singha, they usually cut it short to Sing, and Leo is Leo. And of course, there, there are several other beers in Thailand. Beer is usually served in a couple different ways. It's either served in a can, or it's served in a bottle. Uh, you can get it put in a glass, or you can have it served with a a condom or a stubby or a koozie whatever you want to call it there's two sizes there's large and they're small small in thai is called lek and large is called yai so you'll hear sometimes a uh, bottle beer is uh in thai language is called quat which is similar to court but quat so you'll hear quat lek quat yai so normally we drink quat yai <laughs> You can have it served in a glass. Gal is glass with ice. The thing to do in Thailand, and if you haven't tried it, try it. Beer, for some reason, tastes better with ice in Thailand. Unless you just like warm beer. But anyway, beer, Leo is my favorite with ice in a glass. <laughs> it's really, really good. Or you can get it frosty. That's the best beer to get. And it's called Bia Boon. Boon is like blended like a blended drink but what they do is they get it to the point where it's almost freezing and then it's like a beer slushy it's like heaven <laughs> or of course you can get the beer bong or the beer tube which is popular in thailand as well now the proper way to ask for a beer in thailand don't ever go if you're in a restaurant don't ever go hey come here come here come here that's very impolite that's like calling an animal to you in thailand they go like this so if you want a beer you can do a couple of things so you could just point to your beer like this and go i want one more or you can go uh, in thai language uh, you can say ao which is want beer ao beer cup which is like can i have a beer please ao beer cup or if you want sing or leo you ao beer leo cup nung khot nung khot nung is one nung khot I'll be a Leo Nung Khoat Kap. That's how you can ask in Thai uh, for a beer. If you want another beer, Ao Ik means I want one more. Ao Ik Bia Kap or Ao Ik Leo Kap or Sing or Chang, whatever. It's not Chang. It's spelt Chang. In Thai language, Chang beer is actually named after the elephant. In Thai language, elephant is Chang. Chang, not Chang, but you can say Chang if you can't say Chang, they understand what you're saying. So as long as they understand Chang is not Chang, it's Chang. Your server usually will come by and make sure your beer is full, your glass is full, your ice is full. They're very good about being attentive to you. Unless you just have beer in a koozie, they won't, they won't come check your beer for you. But if they see your glass is getting half full, they'll usually come come fill it up for you that means they want a tip <laughs> so how to open a beer usually they open a beer for you no problem but how to open a beer like a professional tie is like this okay okay also so don't forget to stay hydrated in thailand it's very hot in thailand it doesn't take much to get dehydrated so please drink water along with your beer gonna drink a couple beers drink a bottle of water water's cheap in thailand stay hydrated
Now, times to buy beer in Thailand or al any kind of alcohol in Thailand. There's a certain time that they sell beer and serve beer in Thailand. So this time is between 11 and two o'clock and five till midnight. That's normally when they sell beer. After that, they're not supposed to sell beer. Now, you'll see the mom and pop places and most of the hotels still do it. Um, but they're not supposed to. There is a 4,000 baht fine if they get caught serving beer outside of those times. So don't get surprised if they say no. <laughs> if they say no, don't ask why. There's certain reasons why. Sometimes it's a Buddhist holiday. Sometimes it's some religious holiday in Thailand where they don't drink or sell alcohol uh, in a 24 hour period. I'm, I see people drinking still and if you go to the mom and pop places a lot of times you can still get what you want. And also during the election. We got beer during the election in our hotel but I won't say the name of the hotel. If they get caught serving beer during those special religious holidays it's up to a 10,000 baht fine to the, uh, to the seller. But a lot of times the laws are just unclear. So if they say no and they can explain to you great, if they say no, then just go with the flow and go to a mom and pop place and uh, just smile. I saw a lot of people during the election be really angry uh, that they couldn't buy beer during the election time. Just smile and try another place. <laughs> so you do not want to get in trouble drinking in Thailand. So if you're driving, the alcohol limit while driving is 0.5 grams per liter. Now, if you hold a driver's license that's uh, less than five years old, then it's 0.2 grams per liter blood alcohol content. Uh, they, they do have many stops and they will ask you to blow, especially in tourist areas. Uh, if you're driving a motor vehicle, uh, a car, truck, or a motorcycle, it's all the same. The fines are adjustable. <laughs> Uh, the fines just depend on where you're at, but you could get up to a 60,000 baht fine and up to six months in jail for driving intoxicated in Thailand. You will see during the holidays that this fine is increased. Uh, to, usually it's just a fine right there on the road. Um, it's increased during the holidays. A lot of Thai people do not have the money to pay the fine. So they end up confiscating their vehicle, their whatever, their motorcycle until the fine is, is uh, paid. Foreigners, you got to have money to be here. So they expect you to pay if you get it to. So all that being said, the best thing to do is pay 50 baht or 100 baht. Take a, a song towel, take a tuk-tuk taxi, take a motorcycle taxi, rent a bicycle or just walk stay in the area where you plan on overdoing it, right? <laughs> Don't drink and drive, period. There's also a zero tolerance law for having an open container in a vehicle or on a motorcycle if you want to try that in Thailand. <laughs> but also the fines are determined on your aggression, on damage that you may have caused, or it could be fighting. So if you're drinking and fighting in a bar, typically what happens is uh, you have a bar fine. You'll pay the bar owner a fine, usually like 5,000 baht. And then uh, you'll pay the police fine and you may end up paying whoever you hurt, uh, depending on who can blame who, you know. But Well, that's it, guys. That's how you can properly uh, drink in Thailand. Uh, drink responsibly. Uh, don't drink and drive. Don't cause any problems. If you don't understand something in Thailand, the best thing to do is smile, laugh it off, and walk away. Do not get confrontational in Thailand. Have a good time. Thailand is the land of smiles. And if you smile at them, they will definitely smile back. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please don't forget to always click like. Please subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of things coming up. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.